Hello Manor Green, this is assembly number two for us as a college. Um, it's really nice to be back and, and uh, I've had some nice feedback from some of you uh, and we're, we're really looking forward to, to carrying on doing lots of activities whilst we're not able to all be together. So um, first of all, just to say well done, I'm getting lots of lovely feedback from your teachers, um, from home, from your LSAs. Uh, and you're all doing a really, really good job behaving well, accessing what's been been uh, put in place for you. So keep up the really, really brilliant work. Everyone is doing really well. Um, so last week we had a penguin on our front page. This week we have got a minion. And um, one of my favourite films with my kids, Finney and Livy, is Despicable Me. And that makes us smile and makes us happy. So I suggest that you find one of the films that makes you happy. And make sure you watch that in the next couple of days. So, this week we're going to have some amazing facts, some Guinness Book of Records, um, really, really cool things. Uh, and the first one is about Joe Wicks, the nation's PE teacher. Now, he holds the record, the world record, for the most live streams of fitness videos. It's 955,185. So, that is nearly a million times his fitness videos have been watched. So Dan, Mel and Ryan, you've got a little way to catch up with him, I think. The next record is about, and I, you know I like my food, when we have school dinners, that, that pizza is my favourite day of the week. And I really like this fact. So the world's longest pizza measures nearly a mile. It is 15 football pitches long, and it took 60 chefs 18 hours to create the pizza using one and a half tonnes of mozzarella cheese, and two tons of tomato sauce. The pizza weighed five tons. So my question to you is, how long would it take to eat that pizza? Now the last amazing fact I've got for you, uh, and you mustn't try this at home, okay, is uh, about a man called James Rawlings, and he holds the record for the most amount of chairs balanced on his chin. He can hold 11 chairs balanced on his chin, and he was on Britain's Got Talent. So there's your three facts of the, uh, of the week. So two bits of news. I'm going to try and pick out two really nice things that are happening in the world um, each week, two or three, just to share with you that you may have seen or may not have seen. The first one is that Netflix are releasing a, a new version of Roald Dahl's book, Matilda, uh, in uh, in film. And if you haven't ever um, watched this film previously or read the book or listened to the audio, but there's lots of different ways you can access it, um, I advise you to go out and do it. It's a really, really lovely story and a really good thing to, um, really good thing to do. So keep your eye out for that. The next bit of news is that man there, Joe Biden, is the new president of uh, the United States of America. And he started that job on Wednesday. So we're going to wish him good luck. Because uh, he's got a very big job on his hands, but so we hope he does a really good job. Okay, this is my favourite part of the assembly where we get to talk about um, the students that have been been highlighted to us for doing really well in the week. And the first one is Kira from FE, uh, and Kira has been showing off there. You can see her really, really good, uh, really impressive life skills that she's been working on. She's been doing lots of catering with FE, and you can see that she's been working really hard on that at home. So Kira, well done. It's lovely to see. The next one I walked into this lesson whilst this was whilst this was going on is Alex and Charlie, and they're taking part in a, a project which is all about under the sea, looking at different different things they're doing with the sea. And you can see they're doing a really lovely sensory activity there. Uh, and and when I walked in, those smiles on their face show how much they are enjoying that lesson. So well done, you're doing a brilliant job in that class. My next person, star of the week, is Tyler. And Tyler took part in a, uh, a lesson with his class, um, which was a science lesson. It was on bridge building. You can see there, he was balancing the money on the bridge to see if the bridge would take the weight. And he's done really, really well with that. And his teacher was very happy. So well done, Tyler. Now, our last star of the week is Thomas. And Thomas, I've spoken to his mum. Thomas tells me, Thomas tells me, Thomas's mum tells me he's been behaving really well, listening really well, and working really hard on his life skills. So making mum coffee, which is very important, uh, drilling, sawing, unloading, making lunches, uh, cooking. Brilliant. We're really, really pleased to hear all those fantastic things you've been doing, Thomas. So keep up the good work. 
So last week we spoke about some um, some things that you could do in your spare time, and I talked about a couple of virtual think tours and places you could visit on the internet, and we we looked at some zoos. So this week I'm going to mention the Wildlife Trust there, um, where you can see uh, peregrine falcons, barn owls, bats, um, rabbits, all sorts of diff um, different amazing magical things that you can you can look at on their website. Uh, and the next one is the RAF Museum. And they're doing virtual tours in their giant hangar and museum of all the different aircraft. And you can see there that, that giant yellow helicopter that you can um, you can look at. So that's two really exciting, cool things that you can go on and look at. Now, I mentioned last week PE. There's going to be more community activities that are going to be going on um, for you guys to access. And they're, they're, they're an add-on. They're an extra to the things you might be doing with your class teachers already. For any class to be able to join, some that they can either be with the support of someone at home, or perhaps independently if if that's appropriate. So this first one is cooking with Kevin, and his first session was on Thursday, and he did pancakes, pancakes with a Kevin twist. So I advise you to get on that. It was a really really good session. We've done it with my kids at home already, and we really loved it. Uh, and Kevin is going to be wearing an amazing Hawaiian shirt every week apparently, so look out for that as well. The next session is Art with Vanessa, and Vanessa is going to share with you some creative um, art making to do at home with, and you won't need lots of materials for that, so she's going to have lots of lots of ideas you're going to be able to do, and that's going to be on a Monday. We've then got PE with Dan, Mel and Ryan again, so that's going on. There's going to be an extra session added on as well, so I will send that out to your teachers and they'll let you know about when that's happening, so that'll be happening twice a week. And that's the timetable there. So the timetable we sent out to you in a letter, and it'll also be put on um, put on the parent mail that um, people will be able to access at home. If you have any problems joining any of those sessions, just let us know. And then last, but by no means least, we've got the Manor Green Challenges that Mark and the Creative Arts team are sending out to you. So you can see there some really lovely things that he's put together, like photography activity, theatre time. Your teacher's sending those out each week, and there's some really, really lovely, cool things to be doing that will, will support your um, support what you're doing at home. Okay, last but by no means least, we went off last week with a song, and that song was um, who was it? Who was that song? It was Bob Marley. Uh, so this week, I'm going to see you off with a new song. This is another song that I think that it is a lovely song, makes me happy, makes you feel good. And it is Happy by Pharrell Williams.
Oh, <laughs> 